barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I'm in the lobby. You guys hear all the background noise. All the fighters are coming in. Danny just came in. Uh, the porters just came in. They just walked by and did what they did. And um, I got to say, the fight went pretty much, man. The, the aggressor won the fight. You got to give Sean what he rightfully deserves, the WBC championship. You know, um, he outworked them. I saw a lot of uh, Barry Hunter in there. I saw a lot of Lamont Peterson in there in terms of circling the ring, uh, forcing Danny to uh, use his feet, fatigue. Uh, Sean worked. Sean went into the two box. He went softball. I knew he would go softball to some degree. Um, I knew that that, I'll just tell you this since it's already out now, I knew that they were working on that since he uh, hurt his hand against Granados. They've been working on the softball thing. So now that that's out, they, gonna, they, they may come up with a new wrinkle for Earl Spence. Um, um, I thought Sean Porter fought in levels, fought in layers. Uh, he was definitely the better fight tonight, definitely the more aggressive fight. Danny Garcia shows he has, I mean, it, it's, he has a great deal of difficulty leading. He, and he has a great deal of difficulty dealing with athletic fighters, man. Like, it's, oh, man, Danny had a tough time tonight. Danny had a tough time tonight, man. Um, obviously, it was a close fight, very ultra close fight. Um, it was pro it was probably as close it was probably as close as uh, I'm doing a post fight video. Oh, okay. Where'd y'all go eat at? Y'all can sit down. Sit down. No, I'm, I'm, I'll finish this video. Y'all can talk. I'm just doing a video, just so you know, and uh, just doing a review of the fight. And um, what kind of burrito was that? Oh, it's a huh? From across the street? They still open? No, don't. I don't want to have to eat your food. I'll get my own. Sure? Yeah, man. Because you've been thinking about that shit since 1030. I already know. When a man is eating 3 o'clock in the morning, he's been thinking about that shit for a long time. <laughs> so. This is Frederick. What's your name, King? Eat your food. What's your Good to meet you, King. Uh, the watch time. Yeah. Oh, barbershop conversation. Yeah, barbershop. I'm on barbershop conversation right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm just... I'm just wrapping up the fight and uh yeah sean just was the, the more active fighter the busier fighter what danny failed to realize in this fight he could have took what sean gave and held his ground and still got off and quite possibly won the fight i thought um sean porter didn't really have no disrespect to sean tonight he didn't have a level power tonight he had a level aggression he had a level activity he had an a level game plan um and I, I, I thought that that was, that was the, uh, that was the plan. I, I thought Sean was a little bit more fatigued than he normally is in the 11th and 12th round. I would like to see, I would honestly like to see Larry Wade, Wade back in his corner, back in his camp. Uh, he wasn't in it for this camp, but I saw a bit more fatigue in, in Sean Porter. Uh, I'm not sure if they were pacing themselves through the round. Maybe they'll answer that question at a later date. They won the fight, so you can't question it. Um, but uh, Danny was the um, Danny made so many mistakes in this fight. He made so many mistakes in this fight, and obviously, eighty percent of them was created by Sean Porter. But the other twenty percent, he should have held his ground. His his see. I, I'll break it down a little bit more when I get back home to LA. I'm, I'm a bit tired. I would, I'll be honest with you guys, a bit fatigued, but it's not going to stop me. I'm still going to work till I get on the plane at seven o'clock in the morning. But uh, I just think that uh, he could have done more. Danny wanted to clinch as opposed to holding his ground. You know, he, he should have jabbed more. He that there was. I mean. I can't even find one sequence of a double jab in this fight of what with, with uh, early on. First, but first three rounds. First three jab. rounds, but but, but he, 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 he was jabbing out of habit though. He wasn't jabbing with purpose. He wasn't jabbing with conviction. 
he wasn't jabbing to set anything up, you know. The book is out on Danny now. The book is out on Danny. You combine Lamont Peterson and Sean Porter, you will beat him, you know, at this level. I mean, you, you know, you will beat him. And uh, uh, Earl, Sp and let's move forward to Earl Spence because he called him out in the ring. I'll, we obviously going to break this fight down for the next six months. So th this will be one of a series of 50 videos I'll probably do between now and then. And uh, Sean... Earl Spence called him out. I knew he was getting in the ring, guys. I just didn't want to spoil it. Uh, uh, he said no in the interview, but I knew he was getting in the ring. Um, that's a good fight, guys. That's a good fight. Sean needs to work on Sean's going to have about six months to build his strength up. Sean Porter will not, will not have the... Uh, the um, the agility, the uh, the footwork to be able to move the ring so much because of Earl Spence's commitment to the body, and we know Earl Spence is going to land multiple body shots at multiple spots in the fight. Um, it's just I just think that uh, Earl Sean Porter needs to get his strength up. Hey Sean Porter, good night, King. Sean Porter needs to get his strength up over the next six months. He needs to really. Training camp starts in three weeks. He has a family, so let him go spend some money. He'll uh, take care of his son, take care of his wife, take care of his family, have a great time, go to Disney World, wherever your favorite place in the world is, you do that. And I, round about October 1st, give him to October 1st because he may have some internal bleeding. He may be pissing blood. We'll never know these things. Let him heal up. But I would say around about October between October 1st and October 15th, he needs to be on a push-up routine, a push-up challenge with, in addition to a three-day strength and conditioning program. And I don't, I mean, like, like as much as he hits the heavy bag is as much as he needs to work on his strength because Earl Spence is going to be front foot dominant and just be hellacious to the body. And the power that Sean Porter showed tonight Earl Spence is going to laugh at it. Earl Spence is just going to say, that's all you got. And I don't know when that, I don't know when, when, how long that fight goes, but Sean Porter will have to, have to have more power to fend off Earl Spence. And that's the fight that the fans want. We're not, we're not accepting nothing more. We're not accepting nothing less. We want Earl Spence. Everything is laid out. Everybody's happy. We got the Showtime deal. We got the Fox deal. Everybody's happy now. Showtime will gladly put up the money for this fight. Fox will gladly put up the money for this fight. And uh, uh, Sean Porter will be handsomely paid. He's a two-time world champion. He deserves everything that um, that Al Heyman's going to pay him and the networks are going to pay him. And so does Earl Spence. You know, they're both Olympians. Um, and it's just going to be a hell of an event, man. Hopefully that fight will be in Vegas, you know. I that might be a Vegas fight because Earl Spence is from Texas and um, you definitely want to have a presence you definitely want to sell it out so that's an easier fight for people people from Dallas can actually drive to Vegas you know you know so uh, I'm excited guys you guys tell me in the comment section what you like about the fight but uh great performance by Sean he uh, he had a great game plan and, and he stuck to the game plan. There was only one episode of headbutting, and it was nobody's fault. It was just incidental. So we can start putting the bed <laughs> about him being a football player. He was extremely intelligent tonight. And, uh, you know, he was a hell of an athlete in the night. You can tell as fast which muscle fibers were. Where him and Danny were definitely. Danny had JV fast switch muscle fibers. And uh, Sean Porter had varsity fast switch muscle fibers. And, and uh, that's something that God gave Sean Porter. And. He's carrying it to the ring. So uh, shout out to Sean. I thought you were extraordinary. You have the green belt. Go on your tour. Uh, go on your tour. You deserve it. Earl Spence wants you. I think that's a fun fight. Uh, Sean Porter, you're doing a hell of a job in terms of promoting yourself now. Um, that's a hell of a time, man. But enjoy your time. But I, I will say this. As much as you hit the heavy bag is as much as you should work on your strength because 
Earl Spence. If you have the strength you walked in, I know you're going to listen to this video. If you have the strength you walked in tonight, you will have the most frustrating, longest night of your career against Earl Spence. So get your strength up. Enjoy your 30 days off. Congratulations. Well-deserved. You outclassed Danny Garcia. Uh, and uh, that's it. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon.